Hi there. So I'm back with another tutorial, fellow Renoisers. And this one is going to be focusing on the Hydra, a wonderful tool, and the Meta Mixer, as well as showing off some LFO functionality, uh, just the basic uh, workings of the LFO. So let's start by putting in just a random VST. We'll go with Synth1 here, a classic and we'll load up just a random sound I made. This saw bass sound. And there you can hear my awesome playing. And we'll just set up a random bass line. So. Oops. So yeah, there you have it, a random baseline. And we will uh, sort of go through um, just starting by putting an LFO on here. And of course, the instrument automation. So let's put up a few salient parameters into here. And we will just kind of uh, go through a couple limitations of what uh, what the LFO can do. So with our LFO, um, we can go and put it down the instrument automation and we have one parameter we can modulate. And there you can hear it's modulating the filter frequency, which is all fine and good. Um, but say you want to uh, have this LFO and another LFO also modulating the filter frequency. So we want this filter frequency and we want this one to be really fast. And you can see something weird going on here where the uh, filter frequency here is getting all twitchy. And the problem is LFOs operate in serial. So if they're modulating the same parameter, the one later in the chain will do all the modulation. So as you can see, um, if you move it here, this one is now modulating and this one is being ignored. Right. So how do we get around this? Well, that is what the meta mixer is about. The meta mixer can take two frequency inputs and mix them together into one signal. So we'll put these into the meta mixer and input A, meta mixer, input B. So you have two signals coming in here and those signals you can see are being mixed together and summed into one signal. And you can control the difference between the signals by using this weight function. And you can see there that uh, by changing those weight parameters, you will change the amount that the signals are added together. So very simple concept, but very powerful. It lets you create some quite complicated LFO shapes um, to mix signals together with and, and just get, you know, interesting sounds. So that's cool. Um, but say you have this meta mixer signal and instead of just um, operating the filter frequency now you want to operate a few different other things um, so 
we will also put in a velocity tracker here and go into our meta mixer and put C and we'll weight these parameters a bit too. Okay, so we have our whole signal chain set up here and we will add something called the Hydra. And the Hydra can take one parameter and use it to modulate all sorts of things. And you do that by sending our signal into the Hydra input. And we can see the sum of all those signals are uh, being put into, into the input of the Hydra. So now we can um, take one signal and use it to modulate many many sorts of uh, uh, parameters on our VST up to eight. Oops. So as you can imagine this is incredibly powerful uh, giving you just a ridiculous amount of modulation possibilities and as always you can control uh, the fine-tune of these parameters so that they don't get too out of hand. And uh, you can all you can basically use this to set up uh, you know incredibly uh, elaborate modulation structures on VSTs that have very limited modulation options. For example, uh, synth one, it only allows you to modulate a few parameters, uh, pulse width, oscillator, tuning, things like that, and it gives you very basic uh, modulation shapes. Uh, the real power of this comes in uh, when you start to use the LFO um, and draw in uh, modulation shapes uh, that are uh, much more complicated than you would be able to do with a uh, regular VST. And I'll just change that to square. So we have our custom uh, shape here and we can open this up in the external editor and we will draw a fancy, fancy uh, thing using the points. So now we have a very complex modulation uh, sound. So um, this probably isn't the best uh, instrument uh, to demonstrate the possibility, so we'll try loading something a little more generic sounding. Um, just a generic super saw sound and we'll just turn the filter all the way up and kind of see what we get. So uh, as you can see it's just a really powerful tool for all kinds of things. Um, the other thing you might want to watch for is if you have very long LFOs, the uh, reset command, um, you'll want to put it uh, on here in the track tool, and that will basically keep your LFOs synced from the start every time you trigger uh, a pattern or something. So if you have long LFOs or if you find they're getting out of time, uh, use that reset command and it will lock in the timing on your LFOs. Um, I generally recommend you do that just because whenever you hit play or something, the LFOs are going to be uh, triggering at whatever time you hit play. Um, so this just... Uh, make sure that they're uh, completely locked in. So that covers the Hydra, the Metamixer, and some LFO uh, tricks you might not be aware of. So happy renoising, and if you enjoyed the tutorial, please just leave a comment on my YouTube. Thank you very much.